Hello and welcome to Portal Stories Mel. I played this game a long time ago and I haven't played it in a while, so let's go suffer. Because <laughs> one thing I gotta say is when I first played this, oh, it took a long time. <laughs> so I don't really remember the way the levels go, but I'll try. And if I fail, I fail. Chapter 1, 1952. I made a train. Oh, wait. Subtitles. Subtitles, subtitles, subtitles. Okay, good. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, wait. Where are we again? Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry. You'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Some of that old time of jams. Huh? All right, you're now arriving at Aperture Central oh. Station. <laughs> Station. <clears throat> Wait, Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? <laughs> okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? All right, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't be record this. <clears throat> I love how much of an idiot Cape Johnson is, but he's also such a smart idiot. <laughs> is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community, entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, this ain't the right area. <laughs> but it's cool that there's self over here. That way. I can't go over there. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Why are you calling it stupid? It's not that stupid, it's just an elevator. <laughs> are you trying to say you'd rather have me walk? Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Aperture fight. The Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my. Uh, sir, that's being recorded. Anyway, the bean counters cry like babies <laughs> when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests the Aperture Science Innovators Short Term Relaxation Vault. I don't feel like it's going to be that relaxing. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm probably going to get a uh, kind of stuck. Maybe die. Maybe die a little bit. Do some tests with a portal gun. Kill people. I don't know that that, that sounded bad, but uh yeah. <laughs> Hello humans. But like, when why are we in salt mines? I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry, we've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Cave Johnson, you are such a funny guy, but also I don't trust you. <laughs> Knowing because of what happens in Portal 1, Portal 2, and Portal Reloaded, I don't trust you. <laughs> and I don't think I should. So, 
As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what the crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys. Disappear. Hmm. Huh. I'm going up here. No one even up here. Know your allergens. Pollen, animal danger, plus antimatter. <laughs> okay. So you could be a a <clears throat> allergic to antimatter. Subject waiting area. There's no one Don't even worry. over here. Those stories won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. I feel like this won't go well. I don't trust it. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Uh-huh. Right. Something's definitely not different Don't worry here. about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. Where? Oh, right there. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. But don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. You're most definitely not Cave Johnson at all, sir. Don't 
mind all this too. We just had the uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah. Yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. All right, so, the earthquakes. Kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Huh. Ah. But there's got to be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some... some... Uh, Aperture Science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. <laughs> I hear now, many I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through, and installed one where people needed to go through. Huh. Anything in here? Um... Frick. I kinda gotta get in there. Ah, oh, there we go. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Things seem a little, um, broken over here. The new testing track is just through here. Just to test your, uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Mm-hmm. Right. I most certainly believe you in all your bullshit. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yes, 
Bravo Volta, the... Hold on. Fifth testing track, yes, fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, uh, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. <laughs> right. Oh. oh, come on. Blink. Give me the block. Go when I say you can go. Whee! Like right now. Now everything about this test is lead lined, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing I hear to lies. worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton backstocked ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things, made them in an hour. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you did. can't do anything. Um... 
how. How? I'm going to end this here. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you can. See you all in the next one.